So y'all, I was today years old, well, last week old, when I found out that I have what is called hyperosmia. And pretty much what hyperosmia is, is a overwhelming sensitive sensitivity to smells, to certain smells. And I had it, I remember, I didn't know there was a name for it because I discovered this when I was a kid and I kind of thought it was all in my head. But my trigger is fresh cut grass and flowers. So every time the grass would get cut and we go outside and play, my head would hurt and I didn't know why. I'm like, oh, I got I have a headache. And it gets so bad to a point where I don't even want to go outside and play with my family because my head hurt. But then uh, my other siblings and cousins, they did not get this. So I thought, I don't know. I never said anything. And then, of course, as I got older and I became an adult, I noticed when I'm around like flowers, like at a funeral, if I go to a garden and the botanical gardens, oh my God, I would never go back to that place. Beautiful place, but that is very triggering for me. Like just smelling that many flowers at once, it causes this really severe migraine. And I didn't know it was a thing. I was scrolling on the internet and I don't even know how I came across this word, but I looked, I saw it and I was like, oh my God, I have that. Yes, I self-diagnosed myself. I did, but it's a real thing. And for me, I mean, it's not life-threatening. All I got to do is get away from the source. Like if it's flowers, if I'm at a place where I can get away, obviously if I'm at a funeral, there's really nothing I can do. But yeah, like botanical gardens, I was actually on a field trip and I just had to muscle through it, had to cover my nose. And then, of course, like I said, uh, a few weeks ago, I found out that that was a thing. And it's other reasons why you can get it. But for me, that's my trigger. And it can happen during pregnancy. Sometimes it shouldn't last long. Like after the pregnancy, it probably go away. Maybe after the first or second trimester, but... Yeah, that's my little quick uh, story of hyperosmia. And you can look it up more for yourself. Maybe you have it and didn't know it because you thought it was all in your head. But I'm here to tell you, it's not all in your head. And like I said, it's really nothing you can do about it. Just remove yourself from the source. So it really can't cause any serious problems. So you really can't really treat it. Like the treatment is prevention, you know. I know that as beautiful as botanical gardens are, I probably shouldn't go there. Even if I had something for the headache, I'm just putting myself in a very uncomfortable situation. I'm not going to do that. But yeah, that's my little quick story on how I discovered I have paparazzi. And if you have it, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys on our next short video. Peace.